So I think this is a topic that I chat quite a bit on. Uh, those of you who've been with me in the WhatsApp community for some time will definitely know this. But this is a topic that I always go back to. Uh, and I think it's because it's, it's one of the most important things and important traits for success uh, within university, of course, but I think in all other areas and aspects of life. And today we're going to be chatting on consistency consistency and I think more importantly how to actually go about being consistent so why is consistency so important why is you consistently showing up and putting an input actually important to you being successful at whatever you're doing well it's very simple so when you start off with something whatever it may be of course in this case it's university but let's say you're starting with a new module when you start with a new module, of course, you're not good at the beginning. That is expected. It's expected of you to not be good, uh, to perhaps do things wrong, to make mistakes, to do all that stuff. That is expected of you because you're starting. And this applies anywhere. When you start off, you will not be good. But as you gradually progress and gradually do something repeatedly, you do get better. You will get better. Uh, but there's, you know, something that they call a learning curve. So a learning curve basically dictates how better you get over an extended period of time. And usually a learning curve will have a very gradual beginning, a very gradual beginning showing very gradual progress. But as you get better at something uh, and as you keep at something, your learning curve will slow, sort of start to increase, which means that your growth per day of input will gradually increase and get better and better and better. Uh, so you consistently showing up and you consistently putting an input will basically improve your progression in that said thing. Whereas if you're not consistent, if you show up here and there, here and there, then essentially your growth goes up when you show up and then when you don't show up again, it comes back down. And then it goes up and comes back down so it's less consistent and it's less consistent growth and you you won't reach your full potential basically so I think that's a big reason why I always emphasize consistency because so often and I've seen it a uh, lot of us students will show up at the beginning and we'll be attentive and we'll do our best and then after maybe one week two weeks we'll start to drop down you know we'll start to drop down we'll you know start being less consistent we'll go to less lectures we'll start doing less homework we'll start putting less input and i think especially when there's no pressure from exams uh, or tests or assignments and this is something that <laughs> definitely happened to me as well but when there aren't any assessments when there aren't any tests that are pushing you to study you're not really going to study or you're going to study less than you would have if there was something that was putting a bit of pressure on you so i think that's that's one of our biggest flaws as students that we at times require something externally to put a bit of pressure on us so that we can get work done uh, but so often i think we begin studying too late you know, we begin studying too close to the assessment, the test, the exam, whatever. And we end up putting too much pressure on ourselves. Too much pressure to deliver, too much things to get done within that space between when you start and when you write. And I think this is where, you know, things like stress come in and uh, reduce self-confidence and anxiety and, you know, all these things that then end up hindering our ability to study and perform effectively so that's why i say consistent work will always outbeat studying hard for two weeks always 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 never forget that and that's why i always hammer down on consistency that's why it's so important so let's i think let's actually get to practical tips and steps on how to actually go about and be consistent and show up every single day but before i do that i want to first define what consistency actually means now this is very important and this is something that i wish that someone told me back when i was in first year and second year as well even third year 
but consistency doesn't mean being perfect every single day it doesn't mean showing up at 100 and getting every single thing done taking off all your goals you know studying every section that you wanted to and working throughout the, the day every single hour of the day that's not what consistency means consistency doesn't mean you have to be perfect and i'll repeat that again to be consistent doesn't mean you have to be perfect consistency literally just means showing up regardless of what happens yesterday and once again for those of you who are in the whatsapp community uh, and have been there for some time will know the statement because i say this a lot consistency means showing up every day regardless of what happens yesterday i think sometimes our yesterdays and the things that happened to us on previous days end up determining how well we perform on the next day you know us reaching our goals or us not reaching our goals ends up determining our attitude and our mindset for the next day and this is understandable of course because we remember what happened yesterday but it's not good because every single day is a unique day and every single day presents its own opportunities and what happens on a previous day should never dictate how you run your next day because at the end of the day the only thing that should be dictating how you run your days is your goals and getting closer and closer to your goals whether it's academic goals or whatever you know that's what should dictate how you perform on a daily basis so consistency is literally just showing up regardless of, of what happened yesterday and doing it on an often basis and yes consistency is very boring consistency is not nice no one wants to be consistent me included definitely and all the things that i do uh, whether it's business or uh, whether it was academics it was not enjoyable being consistent i think the drive and the desire to achieve what you want to achieve is very nice because you want to achieve that goal you want to do well academically you want to build a nice business or you want to do whatever you want to do but the the steps the steps that you have to take to get there are very difficult and this is where 99.99 percent of people fall off is because their goal is fine yes it's all well to have a goal but the execution this is what matters what you actually do between setting your goal and you know your actual end goal you know that's what's important and a big part of that is consistency so let's get into it how do you be consistent well number one first and foremost be patient be patient with yourself and understand that progress takes time remember that learning curve i was speaking about earlier you won't go from here to the very top in two days that is not realistic that is unrealistic expectations you need to be patient with yourself you need to understand that for me to progress for me to get better and better it will take small incremental steps on a daily basis that will build up to where i want to be eventually in the long term so all you need to focus on is taking those small steps every single day that's it number two is set realistic expectations for yourself the worst thing you can do for yourself is set unrealistic expectations and then end up shooting yourself in the foot because you don't meet those expectations because that will have a snowball effect because you're going to be less motivated in the future because you're not meeting your goals and you're going to want to give less input and you're going to be demoralized and all that stuff and you don't want that for yourself what you want is that momentum you want to keep on building that momentum and for you to have that momentum you have to have realistic expectations you have to know your limits you have to know what you can achieve and what is possible to achieve and actually go and achieve that because the more you achieve the more gold you take off the more inspired you'll be by your progress and the more you're going to end up doing so set realistic expectations number three number three i think this, is, this one is also quite important but be kind to yourself it's very easy for us to get in a cycle of constant self-blame and self-criticism in that i'm not doing this well i'm not achieving my goal i'm not studying as much as i want to uh, i'm slacking i'm doing this i'm doing that it's so easy to get in that cycle but that is a very toxic cycle to an extent it's good to sort of analyze your weaknesses and see where you're going wrong 
but overdoing this as well will demoralize you in the long term and you'll see yourself as less worthy of achieving those goals or academically doing well than you actually are because trust me when i say that you have you are more than capable of achieving anything that you set for yourself so be kind to yourself within this journey be kind to yourself acknowledge that perhaps things are not perfect but make sure to look at those things that you are doing well and acknowledge those things that is very important and in speaking about uh, this self-confidence number four is back yourself back yourself back your abilities and i'll tell you firsthand that this this step this single thing banking myself is the reason i finished my degree and my honors especially my honors year because there's never been a time during my degree and my honors year where i didn't back myself and my abilities yes there were times where things were rough and perhaps i didn't see the you know the finish line properly or whether it pass or fail but i never 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 doubted my abilities because i always knew that the fact that i am here the fact that i'm here today and the fact that i'm still moving forward means that i have the ability to reach that end goal to pass and you know to reach whatever goal that i set for myself and i'll say this was especially helpful for me in honors because my honors year was the most difficult year in my life it was insanely tough but me backing my abilities and believing in my ability to succeed when the chips were down, when I was failing tests back to back to back to back, and not because I wasn't studying, but just because the program itself is so challenging. Me backing myself in these moments is what inevitably led to me passing. And I think that is really one of my biggest achievements is passing my honors year, because it was insanely tough. It was, <laughs> anyone in UP, I think even any university really will agree that uni is tough but i think the higher you go the tougher it gets so back yourself never never let doubt set in for too long so i think today i've touched on a lot of critical points i've touched on a lot of things there's a lot more i could say on this topic literally there's a lot more i can chat about i can speak on this for an hour uh <laughs> but of course i want to keep the episodes short and impactful and as much value to you as possible so yes guys i truly hope that this has helped you out on your journey to consistency and please guys as always my dms are open please 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 shoot me a message if, if there's anything specific you want to see if you just want to chat or um, if you want to get some advice, anything, guys, please feel free to DM me. Uh, I might might take a bit long to respond, but I will respond to your messages, guys. Uh, and yes, guys, if you are enjoying this content, please do like. Please do subscribe as well to the channel. Uh, there's another video right here that you can check out. And as always, guys, let's continue on our journey in creating a better world.